Hey, this is Carl. Okay, how's it going, bro? Um, good. All right. Uh, this is Shine. I was talking to someone in the messenger. I had, I sent out a, a a list of questions, and I I you know somebody reached back out, but uh, I guess the questions was intensive that you know they wanted to reach out over the phone. So I am here to uh to you know to go over the questions. Lashawn, yeah, Lashawn. My name is Carl. And I would have spent some time answering your questions. I'm, and I'm, I'm the Facebook guy too, right? And I'm one of the owners of the company as well. So just, just so you know, like I, it's, it's a big priority for us to recruit. But what made me just want to answer your last question was, you, you, do you need two years of, insur- of experience? And it's like, yeah, you do. And without that, I can't even hire you. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That's what's up. So that's, that, that's why I, that's, that's why I didn't want to waste your time per se. And, 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 um, because we just can't, our insurance carrier says if they don't have it, you can't hire them. I'm like, oh, uh, okay. Well, that's under, that's understandable. And that's, that's one of my general questions. Cause I, I don't, yeah. I don't just ask for, I don't just ask for myself, but I just ask generally because I pass this, I pass this information along my trucking buddies. And I also have a, you gotcha. know, have a have an extensive following, so I got six years, so I'm I'm pretty good on that front. Um, um, all right, so you guys is out of Texas, right? No, we're out of Ohio. Oh, you're out of Ohio. Okay, the phone number re- looked like it was Texas. Okay, cell um, number, buddy. You Ohio- know cell numbers. Hell, Ohio is even better. All right, can you uh, yeah. can you tell me a little bit more about your company? And what you got to offer? Uh, yeah, uh, we do. So, so, are you talking as an owner operator or a company driver? Company driver. Yeah. Okay. Um, typically, we do drive in, or we do um, uh, non hazardous tanker. The non hazardous tanker is mostly food and feed, which that means we're either feeding animals or feeding people, mm-hmm. which is relatively recession proof. Um, we do some non-hazardous chemicals like soaps and, you know, mild acidic solutions, things like that, but nothing that you necessarily wouldn't have a problem sticking your hand in and washing it off with soap and water, right. typically. Um, uh, most of our guys are, are home weekly. Um, some guys elect to stay out over a weekend or do some things, but I'd say 95% of our guys are, are home weekly and not necessarily for a 34, but you know, let's call it two days. Does it work out to be a 34 sometimes? Sure. Um, that's awesome. So that's uh, like, if I get home, that's if like, if I get home Friday, I will leave back out Monday morning. Yeah. Or like Sunday afternoon or something like that. Sunday evening, like let's call it a 48 hour reset. But yeah, but, but I will say that if, you know, some guys want to stay, have a weekend, I can give them a weekend. Just okay. it, it affects it affects revenue, right? Right. And, and exactly. money isn't everything, right? Exactly. Money isn't everything. So. <laughs> exactly. Um, so you, so. You, you mentioned tankers. So do so do we need our hazmat? Because I do have tankers. No, tanker and hazmat are two different things. You can pull dry van and need a hazmat. Mm-hmm. And you can pull tanker without a hazmat. So again, we're food and feed grade. We're mm-hmm. feeding animals. This is non-hazardous. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So of course, uh, the experience that you require is uh, two years of experience. So no, yes, uh, no new drivers coming out of school and nothing like that. So un- 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 unfortunately, not. No. Right, right. So what is the uh, what what is what is my starting pay at at six years versus a two years uh, two years that a person would come in with? Yeah, so like you said, like I said, money isn't everything, and and experience isn't everything either. Um, and, and I say that after just saying like uh, we need two years of experience, but that's right. not on us. That's on somebody else, um, or from somebody else, our insurance carrier. That is, um, we pay a percentage of gross, right? Okay. So we pay a percentage of the load. So if guys want to run and they want to have a load on their back over the weekend and stay at home and then deliver it. You know, pick up, let's say, pick up in Pennsylvania, drive through, stay in Ohio, mm-hmm. get up Monday morning, continue on to Indiana and deliver. You want to do that sort of thing? Great. If you want to tap out at, at Friday at 8 a.m. and go home and don't want anything else, that's that. We go. And, uh, you know, and whether it's an owner operator or a company guy, that's fine. Um, it's just, I want that truck to make a certain amount of 
money per week and everybody is different. So, so, you know, whether they're two years or six years, I don't know. I mean, I've got guys that are 30 year veterans that make half as much as some of our 20 year old guys. All right. All right. That's what's up. Um, uh, what uh what prevent, uh what prevent, <laughs> what benefits do you guys offer? Um, we're a small company. Let me just start by saying that. Okay, we have twenty five drivers. Mm-hmm. Uh, about half of us are company. Half of us are oil operators. Okay, um, I'd say two thirds of the company is, is tanker. The other third is drive man. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I've guys that are. 70 years and I've got guys that are 25 years and I've got military and I've got wives that are nurses and I've got so it was a, a small company and you had uh, some uh, yeah. veterans and nurses and all like that so being so a small company everybody, you don't have a you, you, you don't everybody have everybody wants oh go yeah, ahead yeah everybody wants their own thing sorry about that and mm-hmm. so because of that because everybody wants their own thing, we give everybody four hundred dollars a month <clears throat> for their own health care. Oh, Reimb- okay. It's like a it's like a reimbursement for that because I can't get anybody to agree to a company plan, so that's how we do that. Gotcha. Uh, week paid va- weeks paid vacation after six months, two two weeks after two years. Uh, I'm working on a matching program for retirement. I haven't in, I haven't kicked it off yet, but it is something I'm looking into. Mm-hmm. And we were going to do, um, uh, like, like health, like death benefit or life insurance, mm-hmm. but it's frankly a lot cheaper for you to just go and do it yourself. Okay. So, uh, and not being that so, you, and I, I can help with the process. Gotcha. Yeah, go being that you, uh, that you are a small company, how, how, how long have you been in existence? So Weller Trucking, mm-hmm. so I'll give you a little bit of company history. Weller mm-hmm. Trucking has been around for about 30 years. Okay. Um, I met Ray Weller, um, 2013 and we started working together 2014 mm-hmm. and since then started growing the business. So yeah, I guess you could say originally Ray's been around for 30 plus years. The new business, if you will, the LLC has been around for five or six years. Oh, okay. 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 That's a better way to explain it because I'm over here. Yeah. Hearing, I'm over here hearing you. You like you know you did small company, and I'm like, damn. Okay, but that's still cool though to to, to get with a small company and and work up from there though. Uh, yeah. Your your trucks. Uh, what trucks do you offer, and what are they governing that? I don't govern unless you speed. Then I govern it. Um, Whoa, well, that's um, first. Okay, I definitely let my people know about that. So if I see, if I, you know, I, I have sensor e-logs if they're going and in the alerts that you're speeding, guess what? You get one warning, great. You get a second warning, okay. The next, there is no third warning. We gotcha. just govern the truck. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Interested in non governing trucks. Not to say that, you know, how they yeah. drive or anything like that, but, right. you know, I talked to, you know, I talked to several guys and, you know, they, they definitely don't like 65. I can tell you that much. Right. No, I mean, it's, it's good on fuel and whatnot, but you know, and, and we, we, we typically have 500 horse ponies cause we're coming through our big lane that we do is we go from Ohio to the Carolinas a lot and to get through those mountains, we want the horsepower. So exactly. especially down through know. 77. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So we, we don't mess around. I, I, I think it's almost a safety issue to go too slow. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and especially too little with, horsepower. So especially with forty, especially with forty on your back, man. That that going down through yeah. seventy-seven through the Carolinas. Yeah, is a bitch. It, it, exactly, exactly. And now I have a problem if you hit the the peak of the hill and you start going down the hill at eighty miles an hour. Uh, yeah. That's going to become a problem real real fast. But exactly. But you know, for the most part, we don't govern. I mean, have we governed? Yes, we have. But but at the same time. Um, uh, I, I think there's other things to really care about um, from a from a safety perspective. So we have forward facing cameras in all of our trucks, all okay. sensor e logs, not not towards the driver, but towards the hood of the truck cameras. Mm-hmm. Those cameras come with like sensors that are like collision warning, tailgating. Right. Uh, I think there's speed and and some other things that that it'll alert you to. And and for the most part, there are in cab alerts. But if it becomes obnoxious because it's not a perfect system, I can I can tweak it 
Oh, okay, okay. And, and make and make it right for the driver. Again, right, like we're 25. I don't want to be 200 drivers. I want to be like 30 drivers, mm-hmm. 40 drivers tops, no headaches. Exactly. Right? Everybody's happy. They make a good living. We can all get along. That to me is worth a lot more than I get this guy. He comes in for a month. He quits. Now I got an idle asset and I got to put figure out what to do. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right? So and so, you- so a lot. Yeah, a lot of what I'm doing. Sorry to interrupt. Oh no, like, go ahead. I'm hey, sorry. What, what you know? Hey, what do you want? How much do you want to stay out? How many miles a week do you want to drive? How much money do you want to make? You know, uh, how do you like your how do you like your loads built? Do you need to have an occasional doctor's appointment in the middle of the week? Do you, you know, like it's more about that stuff. And I, I find, and what I found is, the more I ask those kind of questions, and the more I try and get a good fit. And he's willing to, to I, I guess, live with, then it, it becomes a lot better. I so, got you. And I didn't get to, and I didn't get to your truck question. So, as you know, it's tough. We've got a lot of mid-year or like teenish Volvos. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, most of them are 500 horses. Most of them are I-shifts. This year, we took our first order of Kenworth, uh, the the 680s, I believe. Okay. Uh oh, I think I lost you. Hold hold on for a second. Yeah, I'm about to I'm about to lose you. Good conversation, by the way. But I'm saying like how we got disconnected. It's like you're watching a good movie, and all of a sudden your data just goes out, and it's stuck right there on the good part. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> that's how uh, I, that's how yeah, I was. Right. That's how I was when you was explaining to me about you know what trucks that you guys got to offer and all like that. <laughs> oh man but uh oh, I, I i appreciate you calling me back i you know i only have uh a few more questions anyway so um all right cool uh the lanes did we did we talk about the lanes already uh what lanes you run like regional uh 48 cross country no, nah, we do mostly regional because I, I got to get guys home weekly. I mean, if they want to go out, we can send them out. I mean, we do some tanker stuff that takes us into California, for example. But, you know, for the most part, um, yeah, we're, we're 600 mile radius, 700 mile radius, maybe 1,000, but not, not more than that typically. Okay. Uh, all right. Did, did I ask you about uh, the Northeast and if you pay extra for going up there? I don't, but the rates in, in inevitably pay more to go up there, mm-hmm. so that trickles through to the drivers, right? Because we pay a percentage of gross again. Okay, okay. That's but if they don't, but if they don't want to go up, you know, if they don't want to go up there, that's fine. I mean, but it's it's not a per mile rate; it's a per job rate, and sometimes the dirtier jobs pay more. But but I also understand not everybody wants to do it, and I get it, so that's fine. Gotcha, gotcha. Is there a sign-on bonus with your company? No, there is not. Um, we used to do that, but you know, history has a funny way of, of, or experience has a funny way of teaching you certain things. And uh, what I found was, people literally at, you know, after they had earned uh, all their sign-on bonus, it was like literally the next week they were they were giving their um, their two week their, notice. their notice. Yeah, so it's like you know what? Why don't I get guys that want to come in for certain things? Maybe not all about money. I mean, granted, we'll pay well, but if they want other things, let's let's try and flush that out. And we've we've had better success with it, so we've kind of moved away from the sign-on bonus. Now that being said, do we give advances? Do we help you know guys out in a pinch? Do we pay for some of our owner operators' repairs for them? Absolutely. I mean, we're a small company. We try to do everything we can to keep guys rolling and, and minimize their stress. Um, but but yeah, in terms of sign on bonuses, it, it hasn't worked out well for us in the past. What about paying for for uh, advanced parking at these truck stops? Oh yeah, I, I mean it, it, it doesn't always. Um, well, let me put it to you like this: I pay for parking spots so guys can park the the trucks close to their house. Mm-hmm. I pay for. Um, you know, other kind of ancillary things, but, but, uh, I mean, I guess we could, and we, we probably would consider it, but you know, every, every 
situation is different. I mean, like I, I can tell you, we typically don't pay deadhead miles, but like I had one guy this week, it was just one load after the other just didn't work out for whatever reason. That wasn't his fault. wasn't our fault. Mm -hmm. uh, it just was, you know, chalk it up to, to you know, the, the, maybe the, the bad side about trucking, but we paid him and we paid him hourly and we said, you know, here's what it is for your time. And like you're driving or not like, so sorry it worked out, you know, it didn't work out, but it's not your fault and you should earn a wage because of it. That's what's up, man. But I would, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't promote that, but you know, it's not right to let that guy eat it either. And that's, and that's, that's what I was saying. Like, I don't want to be like 200 people because that goes away. Like no more than 40. That's about as good as it can get where, you know, people can call the boss and say, Hey, this happened. I don't think that's right. What do you think? And they can be like, mm, yeah, good point. Okay. Well, this, you know, what do you think is going to make it right for you? And then we can have a conversation, right? So that's because I don't want to, I, like I told the driver recently, I don't want to lose a guy over a hundred bucks or 200 bucks or 500 bucks. That's, that's ludicrous, oh, I right? You. I would rather take it on the, I would rather take it on the chin, make it right. He's happy. I'm happy. And, you know, we can all make money together. I don't want him leaving or her to leave. I want him to be happy. All right, that's what's up. Well, man, thank you for calling me back. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for, yeah, uh, you know, thank you for going over the questions with me, man. I would definitely, yeah, you know, share yeah. this. I, I would definitely share this with my uh, network, and uh, hopefully, yeah. you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully, this will work out, you know, for them and you as yeah. well. So, thank yeah, no, you. I appreciate that. No doubt. No hey, doubt. Hey, and uh, let me just let me just give you one. A couple more pieces of, of information. You know, we didn't talk about it because I, uh, it's usually an owner operator. But our fuel card is with Loves, mm -hmm. and it works. It works like a Mastercard. So you can go to the small mom and pop, not have to go in. Right? You can get fuel at the pump. Mm -hmm. All the benefits and the discounts. It's it's one of the larger Loves discounts out there. I think we get like forty to fifty cents a gallon discount. I, I realize the fuel okay. is a little bit more expensive at Loves. Um, we got a national tire discount for our owner operator guys. Um, and I was going to say something else and then I forgot. Uh, but, um, y y you know, in terms of like the benefits, we like gloves, even though it's a little bit more expensive, but for our company guys, all that like free shower, free, whatever that that's all to them. Right. And, right. I, I, and I think that's the nice, the nicer truck stop. So that's why we went with that. Okay. Okay. That's what's right. up. Loves uh loves for the fuel card and all the discounts that come with it. Awesome, man. Yes, sir. And this is what what how you been Wellert. 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 Yeah, right. Wellert. Yes, sir. And you guys are now you guys now even though like I said the phone number says Texas, but you guys are actually out of Ohio. We're about an hour south of Cleveland. Oh, that's right in my neighborhood. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> All right, man. What you doing? You know, so, so yeah. <laughs> you stay, you you stay safe, man. Thank you very much for the information. I would definitely uh, pass this along the way, and uh, I would also keep it in my pocket as well because, like I said, I do got my tankers. Uh, I yeah. do want to take advantage of it yeah. in the near future, so I, I'll keep you I'll guys. You, I'll keep you guys in mind. Appreciate you. And, oh, and I remember the last thing I was going to tell you across the board. It doesn't matter if you're with our company or outside of our company, we hire anybody you recommend. It's a thousand dollars just as a thank you. That's a referral program. We're always looking for good people and our people usually know the best people. Oh, is it, it is. Wait, do, do I get that if I come on or do I get that if I just do it as the way I've been doing it? So I don't give a signing bonus to, to to guys that come on to the driver i will actually give it to the person that referred us to that guy oh and i will pay it out the minute he delivers his first load oh i'll keep that in mind because yeah. like i said so I, we're, I, we're gotta, I gotta i gotta yeah. i got a large i got a large network <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. Got a, I, I figured large, as much it sounded like it yeah, yeah I, I, <laughs> I got a large network so yeah i yeah. Definitely, I, I would. Uh, I probably. Yeah. Uh, they, they'll probably mention that they heard it from you know heard it from me off my social media, and I you know I'll definitely let them know who to who to who to speak of. Me. 
Oh yeah, abso- uh, absolutely, man. And then and then you and I can figure it out, like as to how we that, um that, no problem how, how we get you paid, but we'll we'll get you paid, my friend. Like no. like I said, like it, it it costs us money to recruit guys, but I can tell you the last four guys we're twenty five guys, right? So the last four guys we've hired all referrals. No problem. I I definitely uh I definitely would appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for considering all right. All me right. for that. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks Thanks for listening to all my rambling, buddy. You be safe out there. Appreciate right. it. <laughs> I will. You too now. All right. Thanks again. All right. See ya.